Hi guys, Kevin FPV here. What is up? Hope everybody's doing all right. All right, now let's get in the video. Just want to show you guys I purchased a new stack. All of the stack from iFlight, ESC flight controller, and VTX. Because I'm just sick of this stack. Because I keep blowing up the ESC. Now this ESC is from Ishin, and it's not good. Because I haven't flown much, and the ESC just, just just got down on me man but anyway got a new stack that's want to show you guys so if you purchase the whole stack from iFlight so this is what you get let me show you this the ESC so it comes with a whole wire harness alright you get a couple of screws and gummies XT60 connector a capacitor right and the ESC itself right BL Heli 4 in 1 now this is iFlight success ESC and it takes up to 2 until 6S battery so it's good and uh, I did a lot of reviews on it so it's quite good it can take a lot of hit and so the ESC alright then you get a couple of wire harness I got some wires here this side and flight controller All right this is what you get in the flight controller you get gummies this is a f4 flight controller by the way i flight success and you get gummies a couple of wire harness a bunch of it actually i mean it's a lot of it by the way stick get this out now that's a lot now you can choose Basically, a bunch of things, and this is the flight controller itself. Show you guys. Basically, you got BTX, you got a receiver input, you got a cam input. If you don't want to solder anything and you think this does the job, and basically it will fit in all this, you got your BTX receiver, and you got. You got your camera now if you want to sort of stuff you can basically sort it over here all right so your flight controller just put this here all right now the vtx so the vtx you get this SMA connectors And this is the VTX. Now it does from 25 milliwatt up to 800 milliwatt. Alright, guys, it comes with wire harness. Alright, guys, it comes with all this stuff. Now I'm gonna try to fix everything together, and hopefully, that uh, the only thing I have to solder is the motor wires and the X360 connector and the capacitor all right and the rest hopefully I shouldn't have to wear solder or anything because they gave me a bunch of connectors so I'm gonna see whether it will work all right and poof guys all right guys I managed to fix everything as you can see here we got a EC with a flight controller wire hooked up uh, this for the camera and this for the VT uh, sorry this for the receiver and the VTX so the only thing I need to solder is the motor wires the battery lead and the capacitor and the receiver and once we're done that we're good to go alright guys it's done the stack is put together let me show you guys this flight controller ESC and VTX and I didn't have to solder anything on the flight controller just plug everything in and the only thing I have to solder was the motor wires the battery lead and the wires for the receiver and that is all guys that is it and it flies great and I bought it it had the beta flight feature 4.2 on it so I didn't have to upgrade the firmware and highly recommend this tech alright guys that is all 
just want to share with you guys my latest upgrade and this was the my old flight controller it's a f4 flight controller too it's still work it's still working and this is why i changed this is why the reason i changed this because i've been using this esc this is my third esc that i blew you see this all the chip just came out man i only flow with the quad like only one time so i don't highly don't recommend this ESCs. all right guys that is all and thanks for watching i hope you guys like this video and i see you guys in the next video bye